Hey Libra, welcome back guys. So let's go ahead and get started with your weekly reading. Let's see what are these overall messages coming towards you guys for this week. For November the 6th through November the 12th. We're going to tap into every single one of these days and we're going to see what is the overall energy so you can see what you can expect for your weekly reading from November 6th through the 12th. Guys, please keep in mind that these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Reverse the roles as need be, and cross watchers, you are always welcome. So let's go ahead and get started with your overall message with today. What is this overall message here for my Libra? First Sunday, November the 6th universe. What is going on with Libra? A message of concern. So Libra, there's going to be a message that you're going to get today here. It may be a little bit concerning or alarming. Um, they, uh, Whomever it is sending you this message, I literally just got a text message as I said that. Um, whoever is sending you this message, it's going to have you kind of like on edge a little bit because it's going to be somewhat of a confusing message. Um, but you're being told here, before you start thinking out of pocket, make sure that you clarify whatever it is they need to clarify with the person sending you the message. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is this overall energy here for Monday, November the 7th? You got false person. So somebody's true colors will be shown today, will be shown to you on November the 7th, which is Monday. You're going to see people's true intentions towards you, towards your relationships. Um, this may even have to do with work, so be careful with a, a shady co-worker. But somebody here is going to show you their true colors on the 7th. What is the overall energy here for Tuesday, November the 8th? A mature man, okay? So someone mature is being presented to you today on that day. This person, I don't know why I feel like he's going to be five years older than you. Um, he or she, remember there's no gender in tarot. But there's something about this person and the way they're going to communicate with you that it's going to have you really reflect on, on past situations here. So, for instance, if you have... If you sit down and you have a conversation with your oldest sibling or even your father for that matter and you explain to them what the situation is, whatever it is that this person is going to tell you, it's really going to open up your eyes and you're going to start looking at things very different on this day. Also keep in mind guys that on Tuesday, November the 8th, it is the full moon energy. Um, so at that time we are releasing any and all negative blockages. So you can definitely be feeling a shift at that time. This is you as well, you know, getting into that mature energy and coming to terms and realization that some things in my life are just over and it's best for me to walk away from them. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is the overall energy here for Wednesday, November the 9th community? So there's something about a celebration, a reunion, a reconciliation. Um, there's going to be good news. Somebody may be announcing a marriage or the birth of a new child. But whatever it is, whether it's you or someone around you, there's going to be reasons to celebrate on Wednesday the 9th. So prepare yourself. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here for Thursday, November the 10th? For my Libras, please. Thoughts. This day is going to be one of those days where you're just going to really be in your thought, wondering... If you've been doing what you need to do to really get yourself into this high vibrational energy, are you really living your true life purpose? Like you're going to be really looking at things around you, those around you, situations, and you're going to start contemplating whether or not you are on the right path. And if not, what do I need to do to get myself on that right path? I'm also getting here that there's somebody that's going to be very heavily in their thoughts on that day thinking about you so if you're not in if you're in currently in separation with someone this person is going to definitely be thinking about you their birthday could be on the 16th or the one plus six seven so the birthday could be on july but whatever the 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 whatever the situation here is between you and this person they are heavily thinking about you on that day universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what is the overall energy here for friday november the 11th 2022 guys this is 11 11 22 so don't forget to put your wishes out there on that day you got lovers okay so there's a manifestation that's coming in you could have really had a hard time with this person in the recent past but there is some unexpected income some unexpected forward movement some unexpected stability that's going to be given to you on this day so if part of your manifestations 
for this full moon is to remove blockages in your current circumstances. Guess what? You got this person already thinking reunion, reconciliation heavily in their thoughts about you, and finally taking that leap of faith on Friday. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is the overall energy here for Saturday, November the 12th, please? Imprisonment and privilege lading with a message. Okay, so guys, what I'm really getting here is that on Saturday, as all these things are starting to fall into place Saturday the 12th, okay, um, you're being told, don't trap yourself in the thought or the outcome of what it is that you're manifesting. Allow things to happen in divine timing. Be this privileged lady where you're already claiming victory and success. Whether or not it's standing right in front of you, just claim it. Because guess what? You will be getting a message here. And this message is going to entail um, prosperity, celebration, happiness. But for some of you guys, you're really overthinking the outcome of the situation. Let the universe take control. Let God take control. Let God take the wheel on the situation. Because the more you think about the outcome, the more you delay that outcome. So... You know, manifest, manifest hard and put it out there into the universe. Leave it in God's hands so then it can all work itself out and come towards you in divine timing. So let's get you some clarity. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides and guardians. What is this message of concern for today, November the 6th for my Libra, please? You got the judgment in the reverse. So there is a situation that could have caused you a lot of pain and suffering in the past. There is a lot of love here. Um, I feel that the, the the movement here is stagnant at the moment, okay? So maybe somebody could be messaging you to you and telling you, hey, guess what? I seen your ex at the club, at the bar. I seen them talking to somebody else. Do, do me a big favor, okay? Communication from other people regarding your situation will always screw with your energy mentally, physically, and emotionally. I am a big believer where I have to believe it when I see it, Okay? So until you see this person in another situation with someone else, don't allow the gossip from your friends and family members to get to you. This message may concern you. It may screw with your energy today. But again, until you see it, you're going to believe it. Okay? You're right. Maybe your person still hasn't made that move. They still haven't came towards you. It does not mean that this person doesn't have love for you. It just means that they're not ready for you. Okay? This situation isn't ready. It's like trying to eat a half-baked cake. You're not going to go cut a piece out of it if it's not ready for you to eat. So this person is not ready to give you a piece of them if they're not ready to give you that piece. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this false person here for my Libra for Monday, November the 7th? What is this false person? You got a King of Swords energy here. So you could have gotten into an argument with this individual. Okay. Whoever it is that you recently got into an argument with, somebody who could, could be uh, stubborn, maybe an earth sign energy here. Mm, I feel like this person is kind of putting, um, making you look like the bad person. Making you look like, oh, no, nah, she or he are the ones that started this. They, they went above and beyond to try to prove this. For some of you guys, like I said, this has to do with work. So you could have gotten into some type of misunderstanding with a co-worker here. They're just trying to screw with your energy. That's it. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this has to do with work. So this has a situation with work where somebody is, um, it's like a fear of, what is it called? Um, job security. Okay. So this person fears you. They see you doing big moves. They see you working hard. They see that people are recognizing your work. So what they're going to start doing is start talking crap about you behind your back. But your work, your work speaks louder than words. People see that you, you know what you're doing. But just be careful at work. You may have some haters around there that just don't want to see you shine. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here for, uh, for Tuesday, November the 8th? For my Libra with this mature man, what is this energy here? You got the Knight of Swords. Okay, so there is some type of decisive action that's coming towards you. This is going to remove blockages. So I feel that it's not going to be necessarily you asking for advice. It's someone just giving you the advice. And when that advice finally dawns on you, you're going to start seeing things very different. Especially some type of blockages when it comes to communication and forward movement. Okay, You might be mad at your person and you've decided to not talk to them. You decided to ghost them, whatever it is, or vice versa. Okay. But somebody here is going to get a word of advice that's going to start making the situation move forward. It's going to bring in some clarity and someone's going to take that decision to reach out. And again, here we go with Thursday, possibly reunite and reconcile. What is the overall energy here for Thursday, November the 10th universe? 
the four of swords energy in the reverse so something is being revived something is being balanced out today so if you are currently in separation with your person and you and this person have not been able to see eye to eye somebody steps in on wednesday they give some type of advice whether it was requested or not but that advice is going to bring in clarity which will ultimately balance things out with you and this person which will bring a wish fulfillment here and it's going to bring someone's going to have this energy of wanting to revive the relationship on thursday universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is this overall energy here for i'm sorry on wednesday but you know what on thursday is when they're going to probably take the action here okay because i mentioned thursday on this pile and actually this is for wednesday but this person is already in this energy they could have really come to realization very late wednesday night i'm like you know what i'm just going to reach out to libra i just got to get back in a better place with libra and they're going to take action on thursday this person, you're very heavily in their thoughts on Thursday. They're thinking about how to come towards you, how to communicate, or what text message to send you to start off the communication here. You got the Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, someone's going to be very decisive to come towards you and end a pattern and a nightmare and the isolation and the no communication um, situation, letting their guard down and finally being open to the connection and sitting down and having a conversation with you. There is a passionate new beginning here between you and this person and there's definitely healing energy between you and this person. So this is universe coming in at its best and reuniting this connection. What is this overall energy here for Friday? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides and Guardians for Friday, November the 11th here. I have the Page of Wands energy. So I feel that for some of you guys, you're like, yeah, right, Nelly. You keep on saying this person's going to reach out. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. You need to stay optimistic, okay? Stop giving me the contrary with the messages that I'm giving you. If I say this person's going to reach out, this person's going to reach out, and you need to believe it as, as clear as day. You need to believe the fact that this person's going to communicate with you today, okay? You need to claim it. You even need to fake the funk as if you're picking up a call or you're answering a message. Whatever it is that you need to do. But you need to believe that there's communication coming towards you. And the second you do that, there's not going to be any more missed opportunities. Someone's going to come towards you. Someone's going to communicate with you. Why? Because at the end of the day, Three of Cups energy, there is a reunion and a reconciliation that's being created here. What is the overall energy here for Saturday, November the 12th? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Eight of Swords energy. And the Hermit in the Reverse. I'm really getting here, guys, that someone has really been in their head um, wondering whether or not this Ten of Cups is being presented or whether or not if this Ten of Cups is legit that's being that's already been presented. This person's coming in. They're wanting to take this connection in from out of the cold, and there is a Ten of Cups being presented here. You go from a Nine of Cups wish fulfillment to the full-blown Ten of Cups energy. For some of you guys, you could have had a very rough breakup with this person. There was a lot of misunderstandings. You and this person did not see eye to eye, but... In the current energy now, after all the blockages have been removed, as after all the clarity has been brought to the table, you see this connection coming back in from out of the cold. And with this Ten of Cups energy, there is definitely commitment and happiness and joy there. You got this Three of Pentacles energy. It's collaboration. It's you and this person finally working on this connection and finally spending that time together. I just heard the movie. Somebody's going to be going to the show this weekend. Someone is going to be meeting up with this person, having dinner. But there is definitely an energy of collaboration here between you and the person that is on your mind. What is the advice here for my Libra for the week? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Advice, please status quo okay so guys you have this perception of how relationships should be and how things should go and what this person needs to do to gain you back L let things happen when they need to happen okay there is not a timeline with anything I, I if we could we would control absolutely every aspect of our life what other people have you may want but you want what you want okay so stop wishing that you had a relationship like your cousin your sister your brother your your friend Sorry, guys, I had to pause the reading because I got a call right in the middle of the reading. So there goes a the sign. There's going to definitely be communication. But yeah, don't expect your relationship to be like your friends, your family members. Everybody has their own their own things going on. And we all communicate in different ways. What other advice do we have here for my Libra universe? Peace. It's time for you to harness this peace. It's time for you to start moving towards this healing energy. If you truly, honestly want this relationship back, Libra... You got to get into this high vibrational energy, okay? 
I feel that for a lot of you guys, you already know that this person is your soulmate, kindred partnership, okay? You know that you're meant to be with this person, but there's also been a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of back and forth, so you got to get yourself in this peaceful energy because when you, the, you and this person sit down and have a conversation, you're going to have to hear your person out. Okay, you're going to have to try to understand where they are coming from so you can get an idea of what this person is trying to tell you and vice versa, cross watcher. Okay, you need to sit down and really listen to your Libra because the only way you and this person are going to ever be able to bring this connection back around is if you guys are in this beautiful healing energy where there is peace and where you guys can actually understand each other where you're coming from. Um, final message here. Yeah, happy and success. You guys are going to be good. There is happiness after all of this. There is success after all of this. You guys just have to get into that energy. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop lying to yourself or stop, you know, taking positive messages and turning them around. Because at the end of the day, if this is what you want and you want peace, you want harmony, you want balance, you want reunion, reconciliation, communication, you need to start claiming it so it can be presented to you. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.